What's going on boys, Nogates here, welcome back to another video now. In today's video we have four new meta skill moves that have been added to FIFA 23 in this iteration. And skill moves are more important than ever before guys. Left stick dribbling is very, very clunky. You need skill moves to beat your opponent and give you an edge inside the box. I've got a tutorial for you today showing you how to do it and I'm also going to show you some in-game examples. Okay, now let's go over the skill moves. Now, don't forget, you can also use the arena, guys, now in the gameplay format. So you can see over here, you can practice skill moves relative to the way you're facing like you can in-game. Because people always get that confused. When they try to do a skill move, they always do the wrong commands in the arena. So, the first one we're going to go over is called the heel to ball. You hold the L1 button and you flick the right analog stick to the right and then to the left. Or normally to the direction you're facing and then backwards and that's it. Simple as that. Think of it like a ball roll and a heel flick together. So hold L1, flick the right on the stick in the direction you're, you're kind of going into, and you flick it backwards. So don't forget, if I'm running now to like the top left, I have to then flick it to L1 like this, and then you flick it to the top left. And you can see you have to make sure you do it, you flick it in the direction you're running into. Now, why this skill move is more important is that it's a four-star skill move, but the difference is that you can actually exit in two directions. You can either exit downwards to the player's left or to the player's right so, so i'll show you that so you can hold l1 do the play fake flick your right stick to the player's right and then backwards like that on the right analog stick and then use your left analog stick to exit so if i want to go upwards i go bam look at that heel flick and you can see i dragged the ball away hence the name um heel um heel to ball roll and you can also do it the other way as you can see like this downwards now why is this skill move probably the most pivotal skill move in the game is the way you move the ball. Have a look at Ronaldo here. When the goalkeeper comes towards me, I can move the ball and I slice the ball away. You see, that's the key. It's the movement that you get that slices the ball away. And you kind of, well, not, not more, it's more like you drag the ball away, but you protect it. It's kind of like a ball roll. Like you protect the ball with the ball roll with your body. Look at this. The, the ball roll, if someone tackles you, your foot is in a way. So if they get you, they get the player. But this skill move combines like two of them together and it almost used to glitch past. Have well, Watch this. Like, I can use it to basically glitch past the goalkeeper, almost force him or induce him into the animation and kind of go aside. So imagine doing this online against someone as well. Of course, your player's not going to run it like that. But if you go and do it like in an angle like this, you can just swiftly change lanes. So don't forget L1, right stick forward, backwards, left hand to exit. And you can't cancel this, guys, by the way. Thank God you can't cancel it. Can you imagine the outcry if you could? If you do want to get better at FIFA 23, I do have a FIFA score series. But just before you skip ahead, what if I told you if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money? I can say that because I've been running my paid advance in that FIFA score series successfully for many years and thousands of others have joined already and still stay on. This is for all levels of those that want to improve on FIFA and you won't find these videos on my YouTube channel. These videos are in a progressive systematic learning system that teaching you everything from the core mechanics of FIFA to the meta so you can get better at FIFA as a whole, not just this game. With examples and explanations that go beyond the scope of YouTube videos. With new videos coming out every single week, these videos also adjust to recent updates and patches so you can stay up to date. So come join thousands of others in a mature audience community for those looking to get better. Patreon.com forward slash nil guides, link is down below in the description. Now when you join, we already have a library of hundreds of videos that are specifically made for both new gen and old gen. With new videos and FIFA 23 getting added every single week. We also have an additional group coaching as well that we started this year due to high demand and high request. And don't forget guys, it's a money back guarantee. So if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is the nil guides guarantee. Anyway, link is down below in the description, patreon.com forward slash nil guides. But anyway, back to the video. The next one we're going to go over is called the heel fake. And what you want to do is you want to hold the L2 button. And this is only when you're standing still, guys. And you want to flick your right analog stick up and then down or to the player's left and then to the player's right. So you can first do it like this. Like that. Or you can do it the other way where you can go down first and then up. So you can go like this. Um, now, more important than you think. Uh, first of all, it is a five-star skill move, the only downside. But when you're inside the box, people normally do a skill move. And they kind of like fake one way and then they go the other way. That's normally the typical um, stance. But with this one, you can basically do a double fake. So to imagine the fake shot, stop, double fake, and then taking a shot towards goal. But the key with this skill move is to use it, for example, down the wing like here. And then you can use it to basically trick your opponent. You basically want to force your opponent um, to basically make a movement. Like, okay, as you can see like that, you see how he came towards me? You do a double fake. This is mainly to be used online because people, they will see you go one way and they'll react to the second exit. So with a heel fake, 
you could basically choose show where you want to go and you're basically forcing your opponent to make a move now like the normal one you can't do you can't do a cancel and thank god you can't do a cancel can you imagine trying to cancel this uh, midway through how effective it will be but if you want to use it inside the box to get, basically trick your opponent and use it quick like this or use it in combination with like uh, another skill move you can't do that very very simple fake shot stop and then you can use it either way and that is of course a five star skill move okay the next skill move we're going to go over is the stutter feint um the messy skill move i would probably say is what it is um, it's a three star skill move and to do it is very very simple it's very similar to the other skill move you basically hold the l2 button then you flick the right analog stick to the player's left and then to the player's right but you have to do it when you're jogging the other one was when you're standing still this one's when you're jogging and that is how you get the animation so if you try to do both of these skill moves, if you do it when you're standing still, you end up doing, look, if I do like this, you end up doing the heel fake. If you're jogging, you end up doing the stutter feint. Now, the key with this skill move is, guys, is that you want to use it, I would say, majority of the time, outside the box, okay? This is not a skill move to really be used like this, because by the time you execute it, it's too slow. Have a look now, when the goalkeeper comes towards me, watch this. It's too slow. It's You have to basically time it well in advance. You see that? And this is not a downside. Okay, yes, you can't use it inside the box as you want to. But this is where it's, be it's beneficial. Use it outside the box, but you can cancel it. So you can go like this and then cancel it midway through. So what you can imagine is imagine pretending to your opponent you're going to use the animation, but then you cancel it midway through. So that's the thing. So you can either go, as I said, um, to the player's left or to the player's right. It can be used outside the box if you want to, for example, create a long shot. Let's say if you were using Messi on the pitch, for example, like here, you can go like this and then you can cut inside the box. That's also an option. But the main thing is by canceling it. Now, the way you can say is by holding L2, L2 um, and the R2 button. Um, but I did, you, can, you can do the L2 plus R2 to cancel it or LT plus RT. Or you can do the way that I do it is I use all four of them. It's L1, R1 plus L2, R2. I just do it because I'm used to it. Um, honestly, it's kind of like a, the, I call it the super cancel, but you can basically super cancel anything with the L2, R2 um, with all the buttons combined. Um, so when you're inside the box, you can use it like this and cancel it. Or for example, like here, you can go like this and then cancel like that. You see that swift motion that you get? And you cancel that kind of uh, multiple points during the pass. So you can cancel it early on and then you can cancel it later on you see that that's the difference with this skill move if you can time this perfectly to, for the late cancel and then change direction a lot like this and change direction last minute you can basically do a three-way feint see that i'm faking one way going the other way and then going back the other way again and um, the timing is pivotal here something like this and you can get like a three-way fake. Um, but that is called the stutter feint. It is a three-star skill move. And then the last skill move we're going to go over is called um, the first-time fake. Now, this is important. I want to draw this out to make it a bit easier. You can't do this in arena. You can only do this in a game. Imagine you had another player next to you that has the ball at his feet. We're going to call him player A and he has the ball at his feet. When the ball arrives towards you, if you're this player over here, what you want to do basically is you want to hold the L1 plus the R1 button. R plus R1 or um, L, L1 plus RB and you want to flick your left analog stick backwards. So wherever the, whichever way your player is facing. So let's say, for example, if you're over here in theory, let's just say we go over here and let's say your opponent gives the ball from this direction. With Ronaldo, you hold L1 plus R1 and then plus left analog stick will be facing here, top right, because that would be the way I go. And then what happens is when the ball comes towards you, you will let it feed through you, let it run past you, and you can latch onto the ball after. So have a look at some of these in-game examples. I'll slow them down to you. You can see I hold the L1, R1, I flick the left analog stick backwards when the ball comes to me, and you can let the ball run. The key thing is you can actually let the ball run up until you get the ball, or you can let it go longer. It just depends on when you press it. So if you hold the L1, R1, if it left, left analog stick downwards and you hold it, your player will just let the ball go completely through you, and then you would run after the ball. If then you do it L1, R1 quickly, you can get the ball earlier and stop it earlier at your feet. So it is a very effective skill move. And on that note, I want to say to you, there's a couple of other things I want to show you other skill moves if you are watching this long. There is the, also the new Super Flicks. It's basically the same thing except for they've changed it. So you may remember it's a one-star skill move. It's a speed boost, but now as you can see, 
normally you, you have to flick the right analog stick but this time it depends on how long you hold the right analog stick so if i'm running and i do a quick one you can say just touch it tap it you see that not too much a little bit of a speed boost you see that that is the um the super flick but with a slight speed boost but you can see now if i hold the right analog and exit look how much you push the ball in front of you so you're running in behind you can basically hold it and give yourself that bigger burst of space because you know the house you know how your opponent don't forget the running jockey has been nerfed now so imagine your opponents over here you can use this to basically burst into a direction to beat them if they are using the run and jockey don't forget you can use a tap it or you can hold it um there's also a new change to the um, skill bridge which is l2 so as you can see that skilled bridge they've now changed the input for that so just do bear that in mind so it's l2 and it's a right stick flick forwards and then backwards similar to the hill to ball combination just with the l2 button anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video that is the top four meta skill moves if you do want to see more videos like this you can check out my patreon series patreon.com forward slash no guides you click on the link right now on your screen to take you there anyway guys thanks for watching take it easy and of course i'll catch you next time